Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hawk, coming back at you with this truth, giving all praises to you. How about Shimmy? How was shy? And I'm going to entitle this G Man and Brother Marcus Hate the One West Israelites. So, GMS didn't want to call debate talk for you and actually ask me a question when I was on the hot seat. Instead, they decide to make a video response. So what I'm going to do is this. They talk about Brother Marcus and some of his personal information. So I'm going to skip that and go straight to myself. And with that being said, you know it's time for preaching to the choir ministries. Going into G, G Man. He said, if you listen to this video, it's maybe about 20, I don't know, 28, 29, 30, 30 minutes in or so. He says that his brother, I believe his, uh, you know, physical brother from the same parents, fraternal brothers. Um, he said he's beginning to listen to him now. And he basically said, and not so many words that, oh, if he becomes a part of, part of this, I'm going to really get pissed off and I'm going to do something about it. I said, well, you know what? Maybe your brother sees the truth and you don't. Now, G-Man said that he, um, he's he got a, a thing for the, the One West Israelites. And he basically, he, well, he said that um, he... Uh, went down to Harlem looking for the ISUPK and he couldn't find them. You know, he went there somewhat early in the day and they were not there. I'm 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 presuming that was on a Saturday. And then he said, well maybe they come out later. So he came out later and they still were were not there. Um from what I understand they actually have a school so you could have went to the school and he said, well, he believes that they were not out there because uh they knew that G-Man was coming, all right? Well, um, I don't know if that's true or not, but this guy's got a thing. Uh, G-Man has a, th a thing for the a one Wessers, man. Now, he could have came down to 34th Street, you know? He said, we're always out there on the weekend. And we, You know, the young men get out there. They start the camp off. And these are the guys, when I say these young men, these guys are veterans because they've been in this thing going on nine years. So they're really not young men no more. But they're down there from 2 o'clock in the afternoon and we close up around about 9 o'clock. Sometimes we stay a little later. The start in December, you know, we'll probably, you know, leave at about eight o'clock you know when it starts it gets a little colder it, it gets darker quicker so we're out there from anywhere from 2 p.m to 9 p.m so i mean he could have came down there and um them young young lions would have had fun with you because you you just full of emotions but anyway i'm putting this video up video out out there for um the one what the former one Wesses. First of all, I've been to 34th Street, and here's a reminder. Let's talk about that for a moment. He said, Thou shalt not worship a graven image, or, or bow down and worship it. And in the very next in the very next chapter, he repeats it. And then a couple of chapters later, you're worshiping a golden calf. Are you serious? Come on. And then the book of Judges, don't even get me started. How many times you worship so many different gods if you want to go there? We're going to be judged too for the sins that we have done in the past. Exactly. God isn't going to ignore that. Come on. He wouldn't be just if he did. First and foremost, we got to look at.
Not only have I shown you that I've been to 34th Street, 34th Street, but I've shut you guys up in New York and in North New Jersey. And if you keep expanding, I'm going to shut you guys up in Irvington, New Jersey as well. The bottom line is this, guys. GMS knows, just like Israel United in Christ, just like ISUPK and the rest of these One West camps, that there are certain questions that they cannot answer. Like simple elementary questions like, what is the gospel? Why don't you talk about your sins? And things along that nature. Those are too difficult for them to be able to answer. Let me make something else very clear too. I know I said on the show that my brother is getting entangled with a lot of these teachings. My brother speaks uh, positive about a few of the things that you got, that the Hebrew Israelite says on the street. But I can assure you of this. As long as I'm his brother, as long as our blood is the same, I assure you he's hearing what you guys don't want him to hear every single day. And I refute all of that garbage before it even gets started. So, uh, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. But as far as my visit to debate talk for you, I was very disappointed that neither the ISUPK, GMS, Israel United in Christ, or Tazadaki's people, Tazadaki's people, never called in. Mainly because uh, I think a lot of them are starting to understand that we, we Christians are not as dumb as they thought that we were. A lot of them are starting to understand that the soldiers of God are here to stay, and we're not going to go anywhere because you just decide to call us a few names. You're going to have to bring your doctrines. You're going to have to bring correct teaching, because if you don't, you're going to be refuted, and you're going to be refuted in the name of Jesus. Quick shout out to my boy Veckel. Very entertaining debate that you had last night on Debate Talk for you. You beat uh, that Yahashua dude before the debate even started. I know you're humble about it and you don't think you did as good as you thought you did. But I can assure you, when the moderator has to stop the person you're debating because he can't stay on topic, when the audience, who are supposed to be Hebrew Israelites, are telling him that he's not staying on topic and he needs to study more, when when the members of the wrecking crew are calling in and are agreeing that you won you know you did something and you did something big so god bless you brother keep doing what you're doing and the soldiers of god are here to stay and as for this gms character guys i'll be out there when when, when i'm bored with the other with, with the other camps gms is on the bottom of the totem pole i mean don't get me wrong you still got that heresy and everything that needs to be refuted but i would much prefer you guys show up on my channel or on debate talk for you or perhaps you invite me to your youtube channel and then i can talk to you i mean i I really don't mind if it's like 80 you and just one of me i'm used to it the atheist community has kind of conditioned me for that so uh, i have no problem with that you know what i mean it's gonna make you look pretty weak when i go in there and refute everything but <laughs> you know i mean i don't know but uh with that being said guys um remember we christians are doing this for the glory of god we're doing this for jesus christ not for our own egos and for our own selves um the hebrew Israelite doctrine has to be destroyed because it's just utter nonsense and a lot of people are on their way to hell if they believe that garbage and until next time guys this has been another edition of uh preachers of choir ministries showing you once again the progress of us christians against these hebrew Israelites, telling you all to read your bible and do what it says god bless and gms you guys need to repent that's just utter nonsense that you guys talk about on the street